Hey, okay, so I think the back of it just went. So, sorry to say that. Um, okay, so the way I've got it looks like there's a card in here. Um, this is a task. I'm gonna add a checklist. We're gonna add an item. Looks like in my room. Add it on there. And it is going to then go to this main card and add an item on here. So you see the rooms there. And then when you go back over here and you check that off, it's going to go find that on this original one and check it off. So I think that's what you're looking for. Here's the way to build that. So we've got automation and then rules. And then two rules. So I use this one. It says when an item is added to the checklist, which you'll find right here in the checklist. Um, I'll show you in a second, but when an item is added to the checklist and then your actions are find a card with the link and then link to this item. And uh, I linked to that like main card, that like parent card, I guess. And then you're going to add an action for add an item. And you're going to use what's called butler variables. You can you can search butler variables and this document will come up and tell you all sorts of stuff about it. But basically you'll use that and that's how you'll reference the name of the item. And you'll, you can call that checklist whatever, but say you want to add it to checklist tasks. And so that's literally just saying, hey, whenever an item is added to a checklist on any card in this board, go find that main card and add an item to the checklist there with that item. And I'm just backing up into like where you find that all. Trigger um, checklist. When an item is added to checklist, to click checklist and then check a checklist. So that just means anything. Click plus. Then you go to cascade. Then you go find a card. You can use title. I prefer using with link because I can be more explicit. Paste the link in there for the card. It's going to be a card link. Um, pretend that's one for right now. And then you're going to go to checklist. <laughs> Add item, and then that's where you'll use the butler variable, add item checklist name to checklist tasks, or whatever you want to call it. Hit the plus button. Okay, and that's that first rule. I'm not going to save it because I've already made that rule, but just want to show you how that works. And then the last rule you're going to need is when an item is checked, find a card, basically that main card again, and check the item with that checklist item name. So once again, that's the trigger is when an item is checked find a card, go to the main card, and then check off the item with whatever you just checked off. And just one more time for showing how to build that, create it rule. You would say when an item is checked, that's how you find that, it's that rule, plus that. And you go to cascade, find, and again, include the moment there, and then uh, checklist. Down here, check item. That's where you reference that variable. Check item. Get, you know, also specify the checklist if you want, but you don't need to. Just click that, and then you're good to go. So let me know if that works.